Well, this oversized golf ball could be back in Thompson Park this week. Seven News reporter Brennan Straub updates us on how Watertown's attorney believes the ball is city property. The Watertown Golf Club sign, no longer in front of the clubhouse in Thompson Park. But it's a different sign that disappeared that's getting all the attention. A letter from city interim attorney Todd Ballard to former owner Mike Lundy has officially asked for the oversized golf ball to be returned. Lundy had it removed in the final days of March, April 1st, an apparent April Fool's joke, found it teed up in front of Ives Hill Country Club. Ballard says in his legal opinion, it does belong to the city. The golf ball sign was part of the realty that was purchased and that as part of the realty, it was a fixture and it should not have been removed. While Lundy wasn't reached for this story, he told 7 News a few weeks ago the golf ball wasn't part of the asset purchase agreement and he owns it. Ballard, in talking with Lundy's lawyer, thinks the golf ball could be back in the park this week. Meanwhile, up here at Thompson Park, things are continuing to progress. On Monday night, City Council unanimously approved a deal with Spokes Craft Beer and Tapas to operate the concessions inside the clubhouse. And when it comes to signing up for memberships, city leaders say that process will start very soon. Parks and Recreation Superintendent Scott Weller told City Council people will be able to sign up to play golf online, with more information coming this week. May 1st remains the target date for the golf course to open. Brendan Straub, 7 News.